Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am Miss Emma Walsh and I'm doing a face to face again, which is kind of cool. Um, it went down really well the last time I did, I think it was, this is, this gets personal video. Uh, the engagement was really good. You guys seem to enjoy um, finding out what I'm up to and uh, answering some of your questions, which is awesome so here i am again i know i did say i was going to do it more often but i really do promise i am going to do it more often now thank goodness for ollie who has uh, been helping me so much to get more content out to you guys i've really been battling to to get the content out i did explain it last time it's quite difficult to do everything yourself like get up make the content come up with the ideas edit the videos also do all my other jobs as well and kind of live in london i've been finding it quite hard to juggle everything so thanks to ollie i will be doing two videos a week i hope so far so good and uh, getting that content out to you guys so if there's anything that you want to see please do uh dm me or um leave a message down in this video and let me know so i'm gonna give you a little update of what i've been up to what's coming up and then i have a few questions as well that were sent to me that i will be answering okay so in my six months uh, with my mini video i spoke about all the racing and uh yeah so hopefully i will get to be doing that again i'm not 100 percent sure um, i need to speak to mini and see uh what's going on there but uh the season's over as far as i know and so hopefully next season I'll be able to get into the John Cooper works, which is actually quite frightening because that thing is another animal. It's so quick. And uh, I was actually supposed to be racing that, but somebody, one of the, the guys before me uh, rolled the car five times into the barrier, like landed on top of the barrier. So that car was a write-off for me, so I couldn't actually race it. So yeah, so hopefully something will be coming of that soon or next season. Um, I'm doing a really cool, stunt driving day i get a lot of questions or a lot of people assuming that i can't drive which is really frustrating uh, and the reason i started this channel is because i like driving so much uh, i'm not a car spotter i'm not like a, a engineer or anything like that i don't know enough about cars but i know that i like driving and i like being in the driver's seat so yeah i do get obviously people are naturally uh judgmental i think is a good word and a blonde girl standing next to a car often gets uh, people just kind of judging and not knowing that I can drive so I've been given this opportunity to do this stunt driving day with uh, Paul Swift who I've worked with before who's a friend of mine and he's the best in the business and I'm really really excited I think I touched on it a little bit when I did a thing with Ford uh, but I didn't get to film the whole thing very well so we're gonna go back and actually film me doing J turns and drifting and and just learning more I'm not amazing but like I can do it and I'm not afraid so very excited for that my level three personal training course starts questions about that I haven't put it off I've just been so busy and it's quite an intensive course I've done my level two already so I've got to do my level three and I am doing that with um, James and Tom TGE and, and JE uh, with LDNM so I'll be getting that done I've actually booked it in I spoke to James yesterday I booked it in and that is going to be completed hopefully in November so I'll be a personal trainer talking about fitness I am also a trainer at the new F45 in Kensington Olympia which is awesome my flatmate and my very good friend Jane is the head trainer there so she's running up the whole thing and asked me if I wanted to come and teach there and it's a great uh, Jim is a great studio. It's uh, an Australian brand that is now all over the world and it is just growing so quickly uh, It's a really good class. Like it's like a hit class 40 45 minute hit class So I'll be teaching there uh, Kind of part-time when I'm when I'm here, but at the moment November December October looks like I'll be here and not traveling as much which is great the studio opens in November So I'll keep you up to date with that if you're in London definitely come and uh, take one of my classes what else? What are we in now? October. Um, I've got two car launches coming up. Um, I've got a lot of work with BMW coming up. Something uh, quite exciting. So it's not being confirmed. So I won't say anything just yet. Um, I'd really like to go to the F1 Abu Dhabi. I'd really like to do that. So that's in November. 
Um, so I'll see if I can get to that and film some footage with you. Uh, talking about Dubai, I have spoken with Alex uh, Supercar Blondie. We've been trying to link up again uh, since she was in London. I'm trying to go over to uh, Dubai and do some stuff with her. There's so obviously so many supercars and so much going on in Dubai and the weather's amazing. So hopefully I'll be getting out uh, to her to film quite a bit and uh, link up with whoever's out there. I know a lot of car brands get in touch quite a bit. Uh, which is quite a nice thing people like offering you their supercars it's such a weird thing for me i mean I, i've been doing this for two years but it's still it's still like a weird thing i guess people just being like come and drive my car which is which is really cool um what's going on in december i'm going home i'm going home to cape town for christmas uh, my sister's had a baby, so the whole family's all going uh, down to Cape Town. And of course, I will be linking up with my wonderful friends at McLaren. Uh, all those boys down there, Paddy and Jonathan and Justin. And hopefully, there'll be some cool cars that I can drive. I know they work with Aston Martin as well. Um, and I'll link up with whoever I can, really. But I am I told myself that I'm going to have a holiday. I really battle to have a holiday. Because everywhere you go, you're like... I should definitely be filming this. This is awesome. I should be filming this. But I am going to try to switch off for a little bit. But also I will be filming some content out there for you guys as well. January I'll be back. And I have a really, really cool job in January. Um, which I can't tell you about just yet. I'm sorry. But I will. As soon as it all, all gets confirmed, then I can let you know. But it's quite a cool step up for me as a presenting job. I'm doing it with some really cool people. Uh, and it's a cool event so uh, I'll keep you up to date with that so that is my next three months um, it's the most beautiful day in London by the way and I'm sitting inside with a spotlight and a camera but yeah I will get outside soon and get a tan talking about tans I self tanned last night I look a little bit like an oompa loompa anyway okay let's get to your questions I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background by the way I had to wash my sheets because uh, I'm doing a fitness shoot later and I need, I've literally got half an hour. Anyway, okay, so somebody's asked me, um, am I going to do more races with Mini, which I touched on a little bit earlier. I will be talking to them um, soon, I guess, when the season starts and uh, trying to confirm something up with them. Someone said, what is it like having, I, I, never, I don't want to say the names because I never know if people want to be like outed or if you want, I don't know, you tell me, do you? You must tell me, I guess. If you want your name to be read, I will read your name. Otherwise, I get a lot of DMs, so I'm not sure. Um, what is it like to have a following? Which is, is quite a cool question, actually, because I was speaking to someone about that the other day. I think because it's always just me behind the camera or me behind my phone, I don't really think about how many people are actually following my life. And I, I put things up, and then sometimes I see some of the people that are watching my stuff, and I'm like... I don't think about that when I put it out or when I'm behind the camera, when I'm talking to you guys. Like people are actually watching this, which is really like strange and also cool. Um, I don't know, I always guess, for me, I always think I'm a small fish in a really big pond. Like I feel like my following is so small compared to some of the other people uh, that I work with. Like some people have like millions of followers, which is crazy. So I'm just like slowly building up. But I do need to step back every now and then and think about like, Instagram's like 50,000 followers, which would fill two stadiums. And that's mad, that's like a lot of people. So it is strange and people are like, it must be really cool to have such a, a big following and people looking out for you. And I love it, obviously it's what I do and I, and I hope to build my following massively, hopefully. But at the same time, it, it gets harder, I think. The more people you have, the more you're putting yourself out there and also you're like, worried about what you look like, what people are going to think. It kind of does the opposite to you. and I guess it kind of makes you a little bit more insecure. You're worried about what people are going to think about you. Are they going to like this content? You know, you, you plan content and you just hope that people are going to like it. But I'm very grateful. It's not a negative thing. And I guess social media, at the moment, I'm just looking at everyone's social media and everyone's talking about mental health and the negative effects of social media. So it's quite bad because that's how life is going that's how the time is moving into social media and it's pretty scary that there's so many negative things about it already so i um, do battle with that for sure 
quite a lot but I am working on that and I'm trying to just like think of all the positives and you guys have been uh, really supportive which is is great so moving on uh, what's coming up I've already spoken about that in in quite some detail so you guys know what I'm doing for the next three months uh, level three what's happening with level three which I also spoke about I booked it in it'll be finished in November I'll be ready to do some personal training um, I'm really not gonna answer any more questions about Archie oh, it's like been two or three years so if you don't know what happened by now then you're way behind and um, what do I enjoy about YouTube I don't know why I read it like that my hand I don't know why I just wrote it really badly um, do you know what I actually enjoy all the people that I meet I mean I get to meet lots of youtubers i get to meet lots of celebrities lots of people all the people that work behind the scenes um i really enjoy meeting people so that's probably what i would enjoy most about that i've met some really cool people uh, somebody's asked if i'm going to join uh, sam uh, on his drive the world trip sam's very busy <laughs> he seems like he'll be very busy for the next year so i guess if we're in the same country at the same time then uh, yes I will. I know that he will probably go back to Cape Town, so if we're there at the same time, then definitely, because we actually had a really good time in Cape Town last time. That was awesome. What uh, modern what modern car, I don't know why I'm talking like an idiot, <laughs> it's my own handwriting. What modern car would I like to own? I would like to own, um, I don't, um, I, I'm a big fan of the F-Type SVR, like that for me is such a great car. Uh, the M2 competition has just come out, which I love. I don't know why, it's just so sporty and, and awesome, I love it. And the M2 was actually one of the first cars that I drove on my channel, like way back when I started YouTube uh, in Monaco. So maybe there's a bit of a connection to that car there as well. Uh, in terms of supercar, if I could buy one, Oh, that Lamborghini Hurricane Spider that I stood next to um, at Forza, the Forza launch in that blue Cepheus color or whatever it is. I just think that car's amazing. Like, I've never been uh, into Lamborghinis, not into them. I always think they look cool, but I've actually never driven a Lamborghini. How bad is that? I must make a note uh, to get in touch with Lamborghini. Uh, but yeah, I think that car would really suit me quite well. Um, or I'd like to drive it quite well. Yeah, that's, I think that's enough for today, guys, mainly because I'm late for, <laughs> for a fitness shoot, but uh, I'm enjoying this, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this too. Please, please subscribe. Half my people that watch these videos aren't subscribed to my channel. Uh, it would be really great to um, hear from you if you have any more ideas on what videos you would like or anything you want to talk about to camera let me know in the comments down below as well i hope that you guys have an amazing week thank you so much for everything as always all your support please 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 don't forget to subscribe like comment all that youtube stuff and i'll see you guys all really really soon bye